Hi everybody, I'm Jim Stavridis, the Dean at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, and we're right in the middle of the summer. It's July. I know you've probably started to think about, what am I going to read this summer? And I bet you've got a plan in July or August to get to a beach somewhere. So let me tell you five books that I've read over the last year or so that really stood out for me. And I'm going to start with a book of geopolitics, and that is Destined for War, the U.S.-China Relationship in the 21st Century. It's by my good friend and mentor, Professor Graham Allison of Harvard's Kennedy School, and it unpackages the big question of the 21st century, which is, frankly, can the U.S. and China avoid going to war? So let us hope that we do not end up in a war with China, but this book will help you understand the dynamics the costs, and the potential for that very, very terrifying scenario, Destined for War by Graham Allison. Well, since I'm on the subject of war, I have one other title that's kind of in that zone, but you'll be pleased to hear it's a novel. It's set about 50 to 60 years in the future, and it's a dystopian novel about a new war in America. It's called The American War by Omar El Akkad. And his premise is that the South again secedes from the Union and we suffer again with a civil war in the United States, the causes of which, interestingly, are connected with the environment. A third novel, completely in a different zone, is called American Wolf. It's set in Yellowstone Park, and the author, Nate Blakesley, actually takes us into the minds of these wolves as they mate, as they control territory, as they strategically think about their succession plans. It's a fascinating book about the collision of man and one of the primal predators of the American West. So let me really mix it up for you because I like reading memoir and a really fascinating, wonderful memoir is by an American iconic performer, the boss, Bruce Springsteen. And what else would he title it besides Born to Run? And it's really about so much more than just his life and his music. It's about our country as it unfolds from the 1970s to the present day, seen through the eyes of a very clear-eyed commentator and poet of the American scene. So a final book, nonfiction, is about the revolution in biology. And it's by Jennifer Doudna. And it's called A Crack in Creation. And it's about the emerging technology known as CRISPR that allows us to actually manipulate genome and particularly the potential for doing so in human genome. How far will this go? Can we, should we? Do we want to select the color of hair? Or whether people even have hair, in my case. Or whether people are tall or short. Or whether their eye color is blue or brown. This is a profoundly important book about the edges of science that are opening into questions of ethics and morality that will affect us all. So there's five books to consider on the beach. Please send me your book recommendations as this July at the Fletcher School unfolds. All the best.